Well, with that scrap metal ban extended, it's the perfect opportunity to flesh out just what's planned for scrap metal dealers, pawn brokers, and second-hand dealers as the new laws regulating the industries were introduced in the government's crime package. Our Anthea Smith tonight breaks down the anti-crime legislation in this report. Some do it legitimately, but then there are others who take the criminal route when getting and selling their scrap metal, particularly copper. But in walks new laws for the Customs Management Act that establishes a special investigation unit within the Customs Department to investigate and inspect proposed shipments of scrap metal before exportation. Where the shipment contains copper, aluminum, brass, or catalytic converters, the unit must conduct a comprehensive chain of custody investigation. Similarly, the special investigation unit will be the only body to certify and authorize shipments for approved dealers and these dealers too have a responsibility to uphold the new law seeks to require all scrap metal dealers to exercise due diligence and retrieve from each customer a valid photo ID and have the customer certify the origin and history of the scrap metal prior to him having it and prove that the metal was legitimately obtained a 15-day hold on all shipments containing aluminum, brass, or the converters will be imposed until all checks have been made. That hold is extended to 30 days for copper shipments. And then there are the cash for gold businesses. The new pawn brokers and second-hand dealers bill strictly lays down the law in this regard and seeks to monitor and regulate the activities of pawn brokers and second-hand dealers, deter unlawful property transactions, and among other things, facilitate the efforts of law enforcement enforcement in recovering stolen goods. The new laws also make provisions for the suspension, revocation, amendment or cancellation of licenses, introduces the power of an officer to seize and forfeit articles, and charges the dealer with the responsibility to verify identity, keep proper records of traded goods, inspect articles, report stolen goods, and hold all goods received for a minimum of 14 days from the date of the transaction to ensure its legitimacy. I am Thea Smith, ZNS news.